morning on the homestead. Um, I'm Bev and this is Hitch Chick Urban Homestead and I apologize ahead of time for the hat head but um, you know when you're going out tending to the flocks it's about keeping your head warm keeping the heat in and not about a fashion statement. So without further ado we are going to be making, wait for it, chocolate covered pretzels. Nothing fancy, nothing that requires a whole awful lot of effort, but boy are they delicious. So I'm going to spin the camera around and we'll get started on these chocolate covered cherry, or chocolate covered cherries. I must be having cherries on the brain. Anyway, they're chocolate covered pretzels. Let's get started. I have one package of chocolate chips that I'm melting over a double boiler and I've just got water in my crock pot and uh, my chocolate has already started melting. It'll take another few minutes before it's nice and melted completely. And to this I am going to add about a half of a teaspoon of shortening and the reason I do that is to keep the chocolate nice and glossy and when it dries it will dry nice and shiny and once the chocolate's all melted I have a bowl of pretzels ready I have a tray ready with a silicone pad and uh, we'll just start dipping the pretzels. Alrighty, I've got my chocolate going, I've got my pretzels, I've got my silicone pad. Let's get to dipping. Okay, there's the first one. Now you'll notice, get this up here so you can see, you'll notice there's a little bit of pooling around the pretzel. That's not a deal breaker. Once you put these in the fridge and let them set up when they're nice and cool, you can just break that off. So I'm not going to bore you with watching me stand here um, and dipping these pretzels. So I'm going to pause the video and as soon as I get this tray done, I will bring it back and show you the finished product. Alrighty, so I'm just uh, peeling the set pretzels off of my silicone mat and I'm laying them in a single layer with um, parchment paper between the layers so they don't stick and then I'm storing them in this airtight container and uh, they will definitely need to be kept in the refrigerator the chocolate will melt especially with having our heat on whether you use gas electric or like us we use wood pellets um, heat is not a chocolate's best friend and like this one, you see a little tail. If you're not happy with that, you can just peel that right off. And then you have another perfect little cookie. And using the silicone mat, they just peel right off. Another layer of parchment or wax paper if you have it. I don't have any wax paper today, so I'm using parchment. Alrighty, I'm just waiting for the last tray to set up and this project will be finished so thank you for joining me on the homestead today and uh you know what 
this one right here is a little messy. It's not quite perfect. You know, I can't serve my family pretzels that aren't quite perfect. Now can I? Here we go. Mmm. Only thing better than chocolate covered pretzels would be if I could figure out how to make pumpkin flavored pretzels. So thanks again for stopping by the homestead. I'm going to finish my pretzel, get my mess cleaned up, and I'll catch you later.